Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Scorpio's week ahead for August 3rd through the 9th. In this message, we are first going to tap into the energies with the Psychic Tarot deck here. Then we will get an overview message with the Fairy Tarot, dig a little bit deeper into the message with the traditional deck. I'll clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Scorpio, what we can see for you guys for August 3rd through the 9th. Please and thank you. Please keep in mind, guys, that the message on YouTube is general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. If there's something in the title, there's most likely going to be something in the message. For information on energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing we do here every month for free personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And Scorpio, if you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone's always welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages. Waiting game. Suffering in silence. mentally conflicted and fertility there's a need here to get grounded Scorpio to get grounded to um, maybe even do a chakra cleanse here okay the base chakra is the root chakra it's the very first chakra on the map the chakra map this chakra is closely related with all of the earthly issues, uh, survival, physical body, money, safety, shelter, security. It's going to be extremely important here for you, Scorpio, to balance your chakra this month. You could also be experiencing um, some difficulties in those areas, okay? I do feel like there is this, um, a lot of in your head, a lot of, this is the nine of swords and the two of swords. This is, um, mental conflict, mental anguish. It's uncertainty, not trusting yourself, which is causing you ultimately to just wait for somebody else to guide you. The only way to get out of this mental anguish here, Scorpio, is going to be getting clear on that plan, getting clear on where you see yourself headed um, and the steps that you need to take to get there. So let's take a look. Let's see what else comes out here, Scorpio, for this week. Most important message here for Scorpio spirit. What does Scorpio need to see for August 3rd through the 9th? Please and thank you. Someone may be announcing a pregnancy. The three of summer is the three of cups, but the reason why I say that is because the fertility card is the empress card, but that symbolizes, can symbolize pregnancy. 
I do feel like you, everyone around you may be celebrating this, but you are feeling conflicted. The energy that I'm picking up, you may not be ready for this or um, don't feel like financially you're secure enough for a child. It could be a person who you're, you weren't planning to have a stable relationship or a long-term relationship with for some of you. Maybe you have some court stuff going on that causes you to be indecisive, be conflicted. Whatever is going on here, you're not celebrating with everybody around you. This doesn't have to be a pregnancy. This could be somebody graduating. This could be, there's just, it's a celebration. It's a reunion. It's people getting together, okay? There's definitely this. This is the Knight of Wands, okay? This is very flighty energy, very passionate energy, but it's a person who is uncertain, who um, is uncertain within themselves, which then makes them uncertain in relationships. Let's dig a little bit deeper here, Scorpio, into this message. This could be you, this could be another person, but... The energy that I'm picking up here, Scorpio, is everybody is celebrating and you're kind of not for some reason. So let's try to see why. Please clarify the three of summer for Scorpio. Please and thank you. Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Devil flew across the table. So, Scorpio. I'm definitely getting the sense here that somebody within your inner circle is celebrating. Somebody is feeling very rewarded. Maybe they were given a promotion. Maybe they're celebrating the success of a business. Um, could be a pregnancy. Could be a marriage. Something along those lines. Now, this could be directly connected with you. Maybe this is like a partner, a spouse, or um, a close friend or a family member. Okay? I just get the sense here, Scorpio, that there's... A, a lot of celebrating um, going on around you, a lot of feeling happy, very happy times here, but we have this Ace of Swords, okay? And when the Ace of Swords is in reverse, it talks about delay in progress, okay? But it also talks about feeling defeated, okay? And I feel this sense of everybody around you is celebrating and you feel this conflicted energy 
mentally conflicted, mentally wounded, and maybe even a little bit guarded, okay? The devil energy coming out here, you could very well be overindulging in things, okay? And that could be causing you to be kind of mentally clouded, okay? I feel like there's a situation here that's imbalanced. Now, there could be a, a person here that's withholding energy. Um, the devil can really represent any toxic behavior, okay, exuded by you or another person. Whether this is codependency, this is addiction, overindulgence, feeling tied or trapped to a toxic situation, this could also be abuse mental abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, okay? I do feel this sense of you just want to get out of here. You want to escape the situation. I feel like you would be okay if you weren't around all this celebration. Because I feel like here, Scorpio, you really, something hap has happened here in your life. You may just be going through a transition period in your life. Um, a spiritual awakening, you know, a healing process of sorts that's uh, bringing you to this, I don't want to be around anybody. I get this sense here, Scorpio, that you're really going within and trying to sort yourself out here, okay? What I will say is trust your intuition. Trust your guides, your self. If you're feeling anxiety around a person, if you're feeling stress, if you're feeling like you have to walk on eggshells, wear a mask, if you're feeling trapped, you're feeling tied, you feel you want to sneak away from a situation, maybe take a look at that. It could be something within yourself that's being triggered, okay? But it could also be something within that situation that you're feeling like it's not working if you can pinpoint what's not working maybe it'll give yourself or the other person an opportunity to work on that but if you already have design designated and delegated in your mind that this per there's a person in your life that's toxic i recommend releasing that person Getting away from that situation. Because here's the thing, Scorpio. Just as much as you're wearing a false mask in a situation, so is this person. And I really feel like it's time for you to review... And I've been talking about this in Scorpio's readings for a while, so this isn't anything new. Review any people, places, and things that are in your life that are causing you stress, causing you anxiety, causing you any type of negative emotion, and moving forward from that. Really digging deep and getting clear, you know? And how would you walk away from that situation? Well, here's how. You can express to that person that you can't deal with that toxic characteristic. Give that person an opportunity to address that. And if they don't want to make any adjustments, then you're going to have to put yourself first. It's that simple. It can be that simple. So let's get some clarification out here, Scorpio. Clarify the Six of Wands, Ace of Cups. Please and thank you. Mm -hmm. Somebody is celebrating something. Now, you could be directly or indirectly involved. I just feel like there's... A lot of people around you that are happy and you're feeling like defeated inside. Page of Wands. I'm feeling very cautious, very weary.
take some time, again, Scorpio, to go within. Find the balance, okay? And I recommend doing that within yourself. You can ask friends and family member for guidance, but really taking that time by yourself is important because you're not relying on another person to help you find the balance. You're finding that balance. And it's important to do that, to find that balance within yourself. I feel like there may be somebody that comes in with an apology or some type of expression of their emotions and you're just not having this Scorpio. The energy that's coming through here is I'm done. Stick a fork in me, I'm done. Take that time, Scorpio, the Hermit. I love these cards in this deck. It's a little sloth. Take your time, okay? Um, go within and really get clear on where you see yourself headed. This, to relieve this mental anguish, to relieve this mental anxiety, Scorpio, it's going to come from getting clear on what your next steps are, where you're headed, and then taking action on that. So let's get a few cards out here for your advice, Scorpio. I am going to do an extended version to this reading. We'll take a look at what is this person who is celebrating? What's their intentions here? Then we'll take a look at what are the next steps moving forward, where this is all headed. We'll pull out a few oracle cards for the blessing. Soul Truth deck for the lesson. If it's something you're interested in, Scorpio, you're more than welcome in joining us. The link is below. Also, guys, the second link over there is to under there, down there, wherever, is to subscribe to Vimeo. It's $11 a month and you get access to all the extended readings for all the signs. I am actually in the process of having a YouTube portion as well. You'll be able to join um, on YouTube for the same access. Um, so stay tuned for that. King of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and Nine of Cups. Take your time to get clear, okay, on where it is that you envision yourself headed for the long term. With or without another person. And start taking the steps. What's going to truly make you happy, Scorpio? What's going to bring you joy, fulfillment? And try not to base this joy or fulfillment on a person place or a thing okay try to find this something that you enjoy within yourself and it might not even be just one thing you know maybe maybe your thing is you know you have one passion maybe that passion is karate and you enjoy karate and you're a dojo master and you have all these credentials and that's your one thing Maybe you don't have a one specific thing. Maybe you love music, you love art, you love dancing, you love traveling. Maybe you have all a whole bunch or an array of different distractions. Getting clear on what those distractions are, what those little slices of heaven are, is important here, Scorpio going to help you to get out of your head about whatever situation is going on here okay um also if there is a person that's in your midst that is making you feel stressed making you feel anxious like you have to wear a mask around this person or walk on eggshells 
I would recommend that it's in your best interest to walk away from that person because it's not going to end well. Uh, that's your body's warning sign telling you that that's not your person. Take time to delegate that. Really listen. Really hone in. get a soul journey card out here for you Scorpio if you are finding that this message was helpful that it's resonating with your situation please give it a thumbs up all the love and support is very much appreciated and it does help with the growth of the channel guys thank you guys so much for that you are all amazing it also helps get the message out there spreading the word loneliness and know that I am never alone This card has come to you because you must be remi reminded that there is a difference between being lonely and being alone. Feelings of loneliness originate from a sense of not appreciating the most important person in your life, you. If solitude seems like an affliction, you need to work on creating a healthy relationship with yourself. Only then will you attract others who will nurture your soul. If you don't develop a healthy relationship with yourself first, you will only draw unhealthy relationships to you. To create a healthy, positive relationship with yourself, you must begin to feel worthy of love. The pessimism of this physical dimension can affect your self-esteem if you don't have the strong conviction that you are valuable and meaningful. Don't view solitude as a weakness. It is merely your soul telling you that it is time to do some inner work and reevaluate your path before you start to shine. As you sit in the silence of your soul, you will realize that your spirit family teachers and guides are with you you are never alone you may Scorpio be reluctant to release a situation because you don't want to be alone I feel like your soul is calling to you for those of you that this is resonating with so it's time to release it. Release it. Let it go. Let's get a soul truth. Soul truth. Power thought card for you guys. There is no blame. I release the need to blame anyone, including myself. We are all doing the best we can with the understanding, knowledge, and awareness we have. There is no blame. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Scorpio. So, Scorpio, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.